President Muhammadu Buhari has slammed those calling for the sovereignty of the Biafra and Odudua republics, saying they are ignorant. Buhari said he expected them to be thinking of how to be suggesting initiatives to attract investors to the country. The president said this on Thursday during a live interview with Arise TV monitored by Sahara reporters. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, led by Namdi Kanu, has been clamoring for the sovereign nation of Biafra as a result of alleged marginalization, killings, and hatred being shown to the Igbo people. In the same manner, a your based rights activist and businessman, Sunday Igbuhu, has gained massive support in the southwest in his demand for Odudua Republic for Yoruban people. Buhari, during the interview, said, those agitators, you know, are delusional in their thinking as they neglect the issue of resources for Nigerians to survive. Yes, I think of Nigeria. Nigerians can say what they want to say. They, you know, they want their republics. They don't think about resources, how to share what we have. They don't think of how to win the confidence of investors. I think you know they allow their ignorance to disorganize the country buhari said what is your thought about what president muhammad buhari have said that you know the agitators for the odudua and you know biafran republics you know they don't think of how to win the confidence of investors i think they allow their ignorance to disorganize this country he said the agitators you know don't think at all they don't think about how you know to manage the resources of this country they don't think of how to bring foreign investors into the country what is your thought on this what is your own you know reaction to what has been said do you think foreign investors can come into a country where there is no peace the foreign investors won't dare you know risk their life to come to nigeria where you you know the people in nigeria are not you know peaceful what is your thought about this we have seen the reason why you know the president of you know of nigeria have seen agitators for biafra and yoruba republics as you know ignorant we have seen the reason the indigenous people of biafra epop led by nam Kano, you know has been clamoring for the sovereign nation of biafra as a result of alleged marginalization killings and hatred being showed to Igbo people what is your thought on this what is your thought on what has been said according to what we have had in the news president muhammad buhari you know slammed those calling for the sovereignty of you know biafra and Odudua republic saying these people are ignorant what is your thought about this we would like you to share your point of view with us on what has been said but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this let's see what people has to say concerning the present situation onye buenyi uche reacted to this and said it is rather the ignorance that play down a 55 year old agitator you know because of resources in yoruba land whatever promises given to buhari by few southern traitors is personal it is not the opinion of the masses what is your thought about this and on the same hand we have you know chuku michael who have also reacted and said buhari said this buhari said that every time but we haven't seen the you know buhari address us for a long time then who is saying all this on his behalf what is your thought about this can't you see that you know Chuko michael have really spoken well he have said it's truth. it is obvious that the president has not addressed the nation for a very long time now and we have been hearing that you know president muhammad buhari has said this has said that you know every time who is saying this on his behalf who has been the representative that has been saying this how many do you get you know these things from the president of which we have not seen him address the nation for a long while how is this happening in nigeria nigeria will never change that is what chuko michael have said what is your thought about this kenny olotu sort also reacted to this and said if they are ignorant of your biased treatment they won't be agitating sir you and your government has failed to protect us treat us all unfairly lead us by good examples secure us you know enabling environment betrayed our trust in fact i am very disappointed in supporting you you know and your candidates 
as a Nigerian president because all hope I had was Nigeria would be fine under your watch. That was, you know, the last mistake I will ever make in my lifetime. What is your thought about what Kenny have said? We are seeing that people, you know, are not happy with the present situation of which Nigeria is. People are not happy with what the Buhari-led government is doing presently, according to what Kenny have said. He said the, you know, the government has failed to protect the citizens. They have continued to treat the citizens unfairly. You know, you lead us, you know, by good examples, you know, secure us enabling environment, you betrayed our trust. You betrayed the trust of the citizens. In fact, he said, I am very disappointed in supporting, you know, you as a candidate, you know, for Nigerian president. According to Kenny, he said, all hope I had was Nigeria would be fine under your watch. But after everything, we regretted, you know, voting for the president. We regretted voting for you as the president of Nigeria. And I hope that will be the last mistake I will ever make, you know, in my lifetime. This is a very huge mistake Nigeria has made by making you, you know, the president, by electing you into the president's you know, presidential office of Nigeria. What is your thought on this? We can now see that people have expressed, you know, that displeasure concerning the present situation of Nigeria. Nobody is happy with this state of Nigeria. Is nobody is, you know, happy about it. And the current situation of Nigeria has caused so many people to react to, you know, this current situation. We also have, you know, blessing praise who have also reacted to what the president has said. He said, "Presidency, not Buhari." Gavashew is behind all this. The supposed president can't be invisible forever. We have also heard what praise have said. Why would the president, you know, refuse to address the nation? Why will he receive, you know, refuse to come out live for the Nigerian to see him? At least we voted for a president. How is it possible that even for months we will not see the president we voted for to come out, you know, live and you know address us? That is what you know blessing praise is saying that the supposed president cannot be invisible forever you know gabashew is behind all this you know, that is happening he's the one tweeting for the president is the one that is doing everything on behalf of the president then we'll later hear that president muhammad buhari said that president muhammad buhari has done this whereas it is you know, gabashew that is doing everything what is your thought on what blessing have said how true is this? We would like you to share your thoughts with us on what has been said. We'd like you to share your own thought and reaction to this. We can now see the reason why, you know, the president think agitators for Biafra in the Yoruba Republic are ignorant because he said he is expecting them to be thinking otherwise. They should think of how to bring in you know, foreign investors, how to re-strategize and bring foreign investors into Nigeria to increase the level of income in Nigeria. Do you think foreign investors will come to a country where there's no peace? Do you think they want to risk their life and come to a country where there's no peace? Only God can help Nigeria out of this because this insecurity has caused Nigeria a lot of things. The giant of Africa has now become, you know, something else. Only God can help Nigeria out of this. What is your thought about what has been said? We'd like you to share your point of view with us on this. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.